I'm very honored to be here this evening to have been invited to represent UNESCO at this opening ceremony. Gilosaft to Tbilisi for being named the world book capital for 2021. I'm so happy to be here in person, to be able to meet you face to face, to get to know you, and to have a meeting with you in person. I'm sure that uh, the program you have in place is going to leave a legacy and an impact, not just this year, but also for years to come. The publishing industry will survive, and we are always telling our members and encouraging them as much as possible to develop the digital infrastructure. And that's why we have the IPA Academy coming up soon, where we'll be able to support our members in that transition from uh, physical to digital, as we'll be offering master classes and support um, to help publishers navigate that new space. The programs that she's putting into place which will help not just Georgian publishers, but publishers around the world. This means that we really need to focus our efforts this year and beyond to raise more awareness and educate our governments more to change our designation from non-essential to critical industry. And IPA will support all member associations in their communication with their government around this area. I'm Gwen Sajobawa. Deputy Chairperson of Georgian Publishers and Booksellers Association. Uh, right now we are experiencing a really exciting moment in Georgian publishing. I can say this is a milestone in Georgian publishing because we were just handed the status of the World Book Capital 2021. Of course for our industry for Georgian publishing and for our country and for our capital city is huge honor, huge challenge of course, but huge opportunity because now we, we can um, accumulate all our forces, governmental or private companies all together to work hard on developing publishing uh, literary field in Georgia and of course to support literacy uh, and reading and promotion reading of course in our country we have plenty of pl plans forward and everything starts right now from these days because we have forward one very beautiful I'm sure very beautiful year full of reading and full of books in the frames of the World Book Capital handover events, we were, uh, we were honored to have the meeting with the IPA president, Bodura Kasimi, and the secretary general, Jose Borghino. It was the first meeting of Georgian publishers with the IPA leadership. And I think that it was really important for our members to feel this support from the IPA, uh, because uh, of course we are the rep representatives of our members in the uh, international publishers, 
Harness Association uh, and we are trying to bring all the hardnesses, difficulties what our sector has, but this private meeting with the leadership was really important for them. They had the opportunity to discuss all the actual problems what we have right now uh, in the industry and I think that they really get very important uh, and precious answers, advices, recommendations from Bodur and from Jose. So once again, we are really very grateful to our colleagues in the International Publishers Association and we do hope that our close negotiation will continue in the future as well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bedour Al Qasimi and I'm the president of the International Publishers Association. I'm so happy to be in Tbilisi, Georgia to celebrate World Book Capital 2021. As one of the partners of the UNESCO World Book Capital Cities, IPA is really proud to be here and celebrate in person with all of our colleagues in Tbilisi uh, for World Book Capital. We were really excited to have a meeting yesterday with past World Book Capital cities like Sharjah, Athens, Kuala Lumpur and the current city Tbilisi to form a network of World Book Capital cities and we look forward to celebrating Guadalajara next year in 2022. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ian Dennison. I'm uh, the publisher at UNESCO. I'm also the coordinator of the World Book Capital program. I'm very happy to be here in Tbilisi uh, to celebrate World Book and Copyright Day, of course, and to be part of the opening ceremony uh, for this city that becomes World Book Capital for 2021. It's wonderful to be here, it's wonderful to be in a situation where we have human contact and we are not talking to each other via video. Uh, and it's great to be with all the World Book Capital partners from the International Publishers Association uh, and all the friends from previous World Book Capitals. So we had a very good, interesting meeting yesterday evening between us to discuss the future of the program and to discuss how we can work better together uh, as a proper network and how we can consolidate our experiences and build uh, a better program. So I'm very pleased to be with my friend Boudour and everybody else. Uh, this is a great experience. Uh, I'm very happy to welcome Tbilisi into the family of World Book Capitals as we go forward and we build uh, a very solid and sustainable network. Thank you. Hello, thank you very much for your interest. I am Ninia Matjarashvili, uh, Tbilisi World Book, Director of Tbilisi World Book Capital. Uh, it's my huge responsibility personally and the responsibility of my country that Tbilisi got this status from UNESCO. And we are getting this status for tomorrow, 23rd of April, from Kuala Lumpur team. Actually, I'm very happy to host uh, in Tbilisi the representatives of different countries. Kuala Lumpur, Guadalajara, Bodur al Qasimi, who is uh, the representative of IPA, as well as Jose Borgino, the representatives from UNESCO. It's our um, privilege, actually, and our honor to host these people in Tbilisi. In, in the framework of uh, Tbilisi World Book Capital, more than 100 events during the whole year is planned. We do hope that we will have possibility and opportunity to make these you know, programs physically and not to put them online but we, we, we are getting looking forward to do this physically actually. Our programs are aimed to different focus groups for children, for kids, for adolescents as well as the adults. We have some special programs for the people with needs and as well as we have some uh, publishing projects, the projects for libraries, translators and we uh, by this whole project we want to promote book reading for the whole people of Georgia we want to give them books to the people uh, give them people chance to have the possibility uh, to an equality to get these books with themselves and the whole project I would say is to popularize book reading for Georgia Hello, my name is Marisol Schultz. I come from Guadalajara, from the Guadalajara International Book Fair. I'm very happy to be here in Tbilisi, and I thank everyone involved in, in this wonderful city in the organization of Tbilisi as the world capital this year. I really congratulate 
Tbilisi and all of the people in this wonderful city. And of course, I hope that we have the same experience next year in Guadalajara. I want to thank Sharjat, of course, because they are our guest of honor in the Guadalajara Book Fair next year too. So it's going to be a wonderful year, I hope so. Thank you so much. So my name is Vera Michalski Hoffman. I'm a goodwill ambassador of UNESCO for in the question of books. And as that, I have been attending the Wrocław ceremony, the Konakry, the, uh, I missed out on Sharjah and, and on, uh, on uh, Kuala Lumpur, but I'm here in Pilisi and I'm so happy to be here and want to congratulate the Pilisi team for, for what they organized and, and managed to make us come here. And there were all five people from the last and future uh, World Book Capitals, and that's a real achievement. I think it's important that we build a network of people in, interested in books, in, in book fairs, in reading, and that it's this mission of the book as a very important instrument of peace and understanding between nations should continue. Thank you. I am Anna. I represent uh, the Athens World Book Capital 2018. I was working there as a press officer, yeah, responsible for the communication and the international relations as well. And I'm very, very happy to be here in Pilisi. And uh, it was a very, very nice surprise that we managed to be live here and have this contact that we so much missed last year. Uh, and I wish uh, all success to Tbilisi. Um, I think it's very important that we, I, I think since Athens 2018, we came to build like a kind of informal network, like uh, we, uh, we all uh, find ourselves in the next uh, organizations, the next uh, year's capitals, and we exchange knowledge and experience and behind all this, um, organizations like the World Book Capital Institutions, there are always people, persons, and persons have uh, failures and they have successes and they have experiences and they have knowledge. Uh, so behind all this is the knowledge that we need to carry on uh, with us and for the next um, years and for the next uh, World Book Capitals. The experience which I had in Athens was uh, great because uh, in one year we had about 600 uh, seven, 615 um, events um, in cooperation with uh, 220 organizations and institutions. This is something that is uh, missing maybe, you know, the whole cooperation between um, uh, people. So we come to the need of a network again. Um, and uh, our motto was books everywhere. We wanted to spread uh, books in all neighborhoods and for all people to have access, no matter their um, age or where they're coming from or their language. And uh, so I wish Tbilisi good luck and I wish us all um, good luck for the next years uh, to come. Hi, I'm Jose Borghino. I'm the Secretary General of the International Publishers Association and I'm here in Tbilisi to inaugurate this city as the next World Book Capital City. The IPA has a, a very big stake in this event. We started the idea of World Book Capital City many decades ago and we're part of the advisory committee that picks each city each year. Um, books may sound like an old-fashioned item, but they continue to entertain, they continue to educate. Um, and I think in the last couple of years, through the pandemic, people have begun to realise how important books are, how important stories are. Um, so there's this new um, in, reinvigorated uh, World Book Capital City program and I'm very proud to be part of it. I congratulate Tbilisi and I congratulate all the other cities that have been World Book Capitals and I look forward to uh, the next World Book Capital in Guadalajara and then another one after that. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Sheikh. I'm from the Kuala Lumpur World Book Capital um, 2020. Uh, we are here in Tbilisi to celebrate Tbilisi as the 21st World Book Capital and um, 
I like, uh, well, I would like to thank uh, Twilisi for inviting all of us to celebrate uh, the success uh, of holding uh, a physical opening ceremony, which we could not do it in Kuala Lumpur uh, because of the pandemic. Now, uh, I'd like to, to make a point that um, it's all about learning. Uh, like what, 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 well, what Kuala Lumpur did was that we learned a lot from other world capital cities. And uh, one thing that I like about Sharjah previously was that they, their slogan was open books, open minds. Now, in Kuala Lumpur, what we did was that we opened doors. So uh, before this, uh, the, uh, the book industry never communicated uh, with uh, the city hall in, in, in this scale that we've just had for the past year. So now we've got the book industry working hand in hand with the city hall and uh, even inviting non-governmental organizations to come, to come together, uh, uh, celebrating World Book Capital in Kuala Lumpur, having, doing, uh, having them to do events for the communities. And now we know what each people can do and uh, how we can together do even more after the World Book Capital year ends. So uh, I'm just glad that uh, we are all here. We've got five World Book Capital uh, cities here in Tbilisi. Again, thanks to Tbilisi for inviting all of us and we get to share uh, each of uh, our uh, success stories and uh, that could benefit uh, every city here and also for the future cities who want to apply for the World Book Capital. Thank you.